In this video, I'd like to talk briefly about the trim and extend commands that you find in the modify tab. So trim and extend are um, located within the same button essentially, and they're really useful for tidying up a drawing, um, you know, so that you can create overlapping areas and come back later and clean them up. So I have a couple of simple little um, line drawings here to illustrate the point. So the first one uh, is trim. So trim would be useful in a situation like this where you have um, a couple of lines or something like that that are crossing over each other and you want to clean up. Okay, so to use a trim command, I'll select trim, type in the word trim or TR, and you'll see in the command line that it wants you to select the objects that are involved. So in this case, it will be these two lines. So I'll select them both. And with trim, you have to select and then hit enter. Okay, once you hit enter, it will ask you a variety of, of questions, but really at this point, all you have to do is then select the items that you want to cut off. And you have to have intersecting geometry here for this to work. So for example, if I wanted to keep this 90 degree angle right here, I could simply select this line and this line and it will cut it off. I can then hit enter to end the command. So I trimmed off that corner nicely. If I just do control Z to undo that quickly and trim again, I can select the lines, hit enter, and you'll see that I can pick any one of these and it will cut it off. And as long as you have that um, crossing element going through there, it will actually cut it. But once you've actually gotten to the point where there's no longer lines um, intersecting like that, you can't continue to trim. So if for some reason I wanted to get rid of one of these other lines, I'd have to select it, use erase or delete to actually get rid of it. Okay, so that's using trim to trim off some straight lines like that. You can also use it with, you know, much more complicated geometry or if you're trying to make um, unique shapes. So for example, if we had a circle here and we were trying to cut out some sort of wedge shape or something like that, we could use the trim command as well. So these lines right here are actually just simple lines created from the center point out. And you could either be kind of sloppy like that or actually let it hit the quadrant point with object snap. Either way, it depends what you're making. But then we can use trim, select the geometry and hit enter, and then you can make a selection on you know, what you want. So here, you know, if I cut out this one and this one, I could make some sort of you know, Pac-Man type shape. If I undo that and do trim again, this time I could actually cut away the bigger part, that little line, and now you have that one quarter wedge that's left over. So once again, that's just using a simple trim. Over here, we have um, an example of how you might use extend. So imagine that you've zoomed in on a portion of your drawing and the lines aren't quite meeting up, or you've had to do some editing and now you have a gap that you wanna close. Extend does exactly what it sounds like. So it's under here, under the trim command, we have extend. And what we're going to do is select the object we want to extend to, hit enter, and then select the object that we want to extend. And when we do that, it drew a straight line right into this vertical line. So I'll just undo that and do it again. We pick extend. And then the important thing here is pick the piece of geometry that you want to extend to. Then you hit enter and then you pick the line that you want to extend. When you're done, you just hit enter again. And those are the fundamentals of how trim and extend work.